Hey everybody, I'm Gabby and this is RVs with Gabby. If you are into camping and traveling, if you love RV life too, RVs with Gabby is the right channel for you. How to buy and how to use, that's what I'm here to do. RVs with Gabby at gmail.com RVs with Gabby Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you love my content, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification button so you never miss another walk around video. Today I'm standing inside the new 2023 Jayco J Flight model is 174BH and I cannot wait to show it to you. They've got a couple upgrades this year going from the 22 that I did last year to now. So let's check it out. Okay, so here she is. This is the 2023 Jayco J Flight SLX model 174BH. Now, it's interesting because for 2023, they have decided to do away with the SLX line in their full J Flight lineup. So as you can see, my new Jayco's with that new front cap, which looks super smooth compared to the 2022 that's sitting there with that white front cap right there. Uh, they are all just J Flights now. So there's no SLX versus Jayco J Flight. So I'm kind of got a question for my rep about that. But nevertheless, this is your 178. 174 BH model. Great little unit for first time campers if families want to start out and you've got your pulling with a smaller vehicle, you don't want to go too big, you're looking for something pretty lightweight and easy to pull, you have found it. Now this little guy sits at about 20 feet total length and your dry weight is going to be 3,100 pounds. That is um, loaded with uh, propane no water okay you don't really want to pull with a full load of water if you can help it guys uh it's going to bring down that trailer they're meant to be pulled with a lit maybe a little bit of water on board but not a full tank because it'll slosh around there and kind of make a mess um okay so awning on the outside is really nice little eight foot electric awning with led light on the outside there's a little bit of storage under here i'll show you from under the bed you can also access that and then you've got prep here for side and rear view cameras. So that's pretty nice. Um, up in front, you have your integrated A-frame, right? So they weld that A-frame in instead of um, sitting it on top, sitting the unit on top of it. So you don't have a, a crisscross sitting here from this bar is not sitting underneath this bar, if that makes sense for, for simple terms. Uh, you've got this nice new front cap for 23. I love it. It's very sleek looking. It looks a lot nicer than that old, um, like I pointed out over there, the white cap there. You see how that's the same kind of rigid aluminum or, or the same as the aluminum siding here. This one is a little bit um, thicker, thicker metal, sheet metal on the front now. And you've got this nice rock guard that comes up quite a bit. The one, um, one little propane tank for the um, SLX mini lineup here and you do still have a magnum trust roof i've talked about that before 4500 pound rated roof great little feature to have everybody else is about 2000 pounds so very strong roof structure now upgraded steps love that you fold those right in they're adjustable very easy they won't rust you're not struggling to to open the stairs when you get to where you're going Speakers on the outside for your um, radio controls. You can hook up Bluetooth, listen to your music, and you still have Goodyear tires on board as well as a galvanized steel wheel well, folks. So that is just protecting your camper in case of a blowout, which Goodyear is rated number one in the RV industry, so that should be limited to start with. But let's say you have a blowout. You won't end up like our customer up in New York where they put their valuables underneath the sink. They had a blowout, ripped up the side of their camper, all of their valuables out on the middle of the highway. Okay, coming around the back of the unit, I will point out that you do have the two-year interior and three-year structural warranty from Jayco. Again, one year more than the competition usually has a one-year uh, bumper-to-bumper, so that's really nice. On the back here, full spare, also Goodyear, and there's your backup camera prep, that little nubbin at the top of the back of the unit. Uh, you can even see, this is something small that my uh, rep pointed out to us. If you look, you can see where they 
pull the edge of that roof over the side and they um, screw it into the side wall. So instead of those screws sitting facing, like if you're looking down at the roof, the screws being in the actual roof itself, that membrane is pulled over and around down the side of the coach. This is just gonna help prevent leaks in your roof. That's a big deal. Some brands don't talk about it because most brands don't do it. So it's just a little thing I like to point out now that I've been taught that myself. You have, check it out, on-demand suburban hot water heater now for 2023. So that's new. That's pretty neat. All of your windows on this one are going to be um, framed, but you can open them, which is pretty nice for some uh, airflow in there. I don't know. What is this? That seems new. So now you have a gravity fill for your fresh water tank. I don't know where or where it was for 22. I didn't really pay attention, but I have never seen this little cover now for that. So that's kind of that's kind of neat. Please excuse my garage is right here and the boys are working very hard in our service department. All right, heading on inside the unit. I know that's what everybody really wants to see. If you are a family of four or even a family of five, this unit will do you plenty as long as you're okay being in a tight, uh, tight, tight area when you're sleeping. You know, as long as you're playing on being outside and actually camping and enjoying the outdoors, shouldn't be too rough on you, especially if you're used to sleeping in a tent or a pop-up. This is a nice upgrade. I'm going to shut the door so we have a little bit more, oh, a little bit more quiet in here. All right. Up front, you've got some cabinets overhead, mom and dad's bed, or maybe mom and dad, if the kids are a little taller than you, they get the front queen bed here. Now, if I lift this up, I, oh, this is the hard part, guys, is there is no gas strut on this one, so I have to do it by myself, and I'm holding the camera. There we go. All right, you can see all plywood. There's no particle board, which is really nice. Um, you have a lot of storage in here. This is pretty, this goes deeper than I thought. It's wider than I thought. So you can store a lot down there. You can see they've reinforced the bottom of this bed, which is plywood, with those extra brackets. That's just to help um, carry the weight and the load of the bed and just have an overall stronger structure. Emergency exit right there by the bed. Again, more storage up above wherever they could put it. Nice big air conditioner. This is the upgraded AC. Normally, I think standard, these will come with the 8K AC in the sidewall, the side mounted. I might be up there in that corner now for 23, but this is upgraded with the, um, should be a 11 or a 13K AC up there, which is really nice. Now, um, dinette, probably the smallest, you know, for a family of five, you're not going to fit there, but it does serve its purpose. Maybe a couple of you, maybe a couple, the adults are hanging out outside. The kids are playing games inside. You can sit at this table, two people comfortably. It also drops down to sleep. I would say one large child, one very small adult. Um, but again, does its purpose in case you need that extra seating area. Your controls for your radio are up top here on the left. And then your bunks are right around this corner. Now, each bunk is rated for 300 pounds. That's another um, Jayco standard. Super nice. So two adults can sleep in here if you can fit comfortably. The biggest thing is going to be height. I'm 5'2". I can fit in here pretty comfy, but I'm pretty sure these are not six-foot bunks. So I'll have to link the measurements down below or the information to their website down below so you can get more information on that. Uh, windows in both bunks, that's a big deal, right? Some, some places you don't see that. And then you do have USB ports on the top, and then there's um, some regular 110 outlets down below. Now, turning around to the kitchen area, a little bit of prep space, a place for a TV to be mounted if you wish. Um, some some storage up overhead and then your little my little favorite popcorn microwave because realistically what the heck else are you going to be cooking in there coming down you've got two burner cooktop here so that'll do the job again essentials right um underneath the sink you have got a space for your garbage can so check that out guys little thing if you're not if you're watching this video and you're a first time camper things to look out for include if they put a shelf under the sink where are you going to put your garbage can so that's really nice to have big fan of that thank you jaco and you can see your um heating duct is up off the ground so no 
No ducks in the floor on this one, which is kind of nice. You don't have to worry about the kids running over it with their sandy feet or dirty feet and then um, getting things stuck in the heating vent. Now, underneath the fridge, they have for 23, this is new, they've started to move the breaker boxes. So the breaker box is now located under the dinette, which means you get more storage. And on board a unit that's under 20 feet, it's a big deal. So this is nice to have some storage for maybe some pots or pans underneath the fridge. I do like that they've made these fridges flat panel now. They used to have these kind of, um, you know, it almost looked just like the drawer, but the issue was that those panels were um, coming off the fridge. So I do like that nice flush, uh, you know, matte look now on the fridge. And this is a electric fridge. So you've got a nice deep fridge. You can fit a lot of food for the family for the weekend and that'll run off of your battery, which is, oh, there you go. Pretty nice, nice and deep there. All right, finally coming into the bathroom. Hey everybody, uh, we've got a vent, oh, no fan, but it looks like that vent opens up up there. Controls for your on-demand hot water heater, your suburban hot water heater. A little place for your toilet paper roll. Plastic foot flush toilet, wah, wah. Kind of wish they did a little better on that. And then your tub shower surround. Now. Uh, skylight is here. You can probably fit someone almost six foot in this shower. So it's a pretty big size shower. Um, the question I get a lot from customers is what is this rim and do I have to worry about that? Okay. So what that is, is just this behind it material is actually water resistant, but just for peace of mind and some extra protection, they've put this one piece um, surround in here. This tub actually comes up several inches. You see where this is, guys? This tub comes up above that. So there is no place for water to get up under there, but they do have that open to allow that condensation to kind of get escape out of there if there is any water buildup behind it. So you do not want to caulk around that because you could actually trap water in there. All right. Um, overall, that's pretty much all I've got. The 174 BH is a fantastic floor plan. You're going to find this floor plan in a lot of different models, but the Jayco difference is going to be that 4,500 pound Magnum truss roof system. Okay. Um, it's 16 on center wood trusses. It's oversized nail plates, heavy duty header beams. Uh, you have vertical wood studs instead of aluminum studs. I mean, just that roof is strong and solid for such a little unit. You won't find that elsewhere. You also get the two-year warranty from Jayco, right? So two years on the interior build is covered instead of one year. And they've been around over 50 years, so they just know how to do it. Everybody will service them. And if you have any issues, which let's be honest, sometimes you end up with a lemon and things have issues, you are covered and backed by a company that has been in the business for a long time. So yeah, you could probably find this unit, same floor plan or similar. Um, in another product line, another brand for a little bit less money. But honestly, you are buying the name in a sense, um, but it's the best because you're going to get a six to 8% higher resale value when you buy a Jayco over another product because the name is so well known because everybody's familiar with it. That is something you get when you purchase a Jayco is that security of knowing that it is a Jayco. Anyway, folks, that's all I've got for today. Thank you so much for watching my video. Again, I am located in Castleberry, Florida at Orlando RV, which is now soon to be Blue Compass RV. So excited to meet you. If you are in the market, please stop by and visit our store. I'm working. That's the snap-on truck leaving us. <laughs> I work Tuesdays through Saturdays. Um, my email is down below, gabriella.patisiel at bluecompassrv.com or rvswithgabby at gmail.com. Thank you so much. And until next time, happy camping.